Solving equations level two. In level two, we're looking at equations with more than one variable term. And in, the thing that you need to remember for this one is that we need to collect all the variables on one side of the equation. And it truly doesn't matter whether you move them to the left side or the right side. I will show you a strategy if you want to eliminate um, negative coefficients, but you are welcome to always move them to the left side if that's an easier strategy for you. So the first example, I have 5x equals 3x plus 14. So what I want to do is I want to take all of my variable terms and I want to move them to one side. So I'm going to start by taking my 3x and I want to move my 3x to the same side as my 5x. So right now this is a positive 3x, so I need to subtract 3x from both sides. I'm still looking at opposite operations. So I have to subtract 3x from both sides. Because remember, I have to do the same thing to each side so that my equation stays balanced. So I have 5x minus 3x is 2x. My 3x take away 3x is 0. So those two terms disappear, and I'm left with 14 on the right-hand side. From here, I need to now isolate from my variable. So I have to eliminate the coefficient that's in front of my x, which is 2. So I'm multiplying 2 by x. So the opposite of multiplying by 2 is dividing by 2. So I have to do that to both sides. So I have 2x divided by 2 is equal to 14 divided by 2. Remember, 2 divided by 2 is 1. So I'm left with 1x, or just x. And 14 divided by 2 is 7. So you'll see that there's that extra step in there where we have to move all of our variables to one side. For the next example, I have 2m plus 5 equals 4m minus 1. So same thing, I want to move all of my variables to one side. Now, I always like to move my smaller coefficient to the larger side. So my 2m is smaller than 4m. So I want to get rid of my 2m from the left-hand side. So essentially what I'm doing is I'm putting all of my m's to the right-hand side instead. And this way I will eliminate having to divide by a negative number. My coefficient will still be positive. If that doesn't matter to you, if you're okay dividing by a negative number, then you can always move it to the left-hand side. Not a big deal. <clears throat> So I'm going to take my 2m, so the opposite of adding 2m, or this positive 2m, is subtracting 2m. So I'm going to do that to both sides. So 2m take away 2m plus 5 is equal to 4m take away 2m minus 1. Remember, 2m take away 2m is 0, so I'm left with 5 on the left-hand side. 4m take away 2m is 2m minus 1. So now I want to isolate from my variable even further. So I want to get rid of this coefficient or the constant first. So right now my constant that's on the same side as my variable is negative 1. The opposite of minusing 1 is adding 1 to both sides. So 5 plus 1 is equal to 2m minus 1 plus 1. 5 plus 1 is 6 equals 2m and my negative 1 plus 1 is 0, so those two disappear. And the last step that I need to do in order to isolate from my variables to get rid of this coefficient, right now it's multiplying by m, so the opposite of multiplying by 2 is dividing by 2. So I have 6 divided by 2 is equal to 2m divided by 2. 6 divided by 2 is 3. 2 divided by 2 is 1, so I'm left with 1m or just m. So we can move our variables to the right-hand side rather than the left-hand side, so you can see that that works as well. I'll show you in the next example what I mean when um, we have that negative coefficient. So I'm going to move my y's to the left-hand side. So I have 3y plus 10 equals 4y minus 5. So I'm going to take my 4y. So the opposite of adding 4y is subtracting 4y from both sides. So I have 3y take away 4y plus 10 is equal to 4y minus 4y minus 5. Please pay attention to your solutions and how you format your solutions. Um, 
try to mimic how I'm setting this up uh, rather than trying to do some calculations over on this side and then over there and you're not keeping it as an equation um, because then you have a tendency to make more mistakes that way. So really pay attention to how you format your solutions and try to stick to the same format that I'm showing you. You are welcome to cut out steps, right, um, if that works for you, um, but you still need to show your steps in order. All right, so 3y minus 4y is negative y or negative 1y. You can choose to write the negative 1 or you don't have to write the 1. You could just write negative y. So negative 1y plus 10. Our 4y minus 4y is 0, so those two disappear, and that's equal to negative 5. So this is where I said if you move your larger number to the smaller side, uh, then you're going to be left with a negative coefficient. And that's fine, I just wanted to bring that to your attention. So I want to eliminate the constant on the same side of my variable. So the opposite of adding 10 is subtracting 10 from both sides. So negative y plus 10 take away 10 is equal to negative 5 take away 10. So negative y, remember our 10 minus 10 is 0, so those disappear, is equal to negative 5 take away 10 is negative 15. And this is where we're just going to have to do that extra step where we are going to divide by the coefficient. Right now that coefficient is that negative 1. So if it's helpful to keep that negative 1 in all the way through until you get to this last step, by all means go ahead and do that. So the opposite of multiplying by negative 1 is dividing by negative 1. So I want to divide negative 1 by both sides. So negative 1y divided by negative 1 is equal to negative 15 divided by negative 1. Negative 1 divided by negative 1 is 1, so 1y one or just y is equal to negative 15 divided by negative 1, which is positive 15. So it's perfectly fine to move all of your y's or all of your letters to the left hand side, but know that sometimes you might have a negative coefficient and that's easy enough to get rid of just by doing division. Okay. Last example, sometimes you might want to um, co collect your like terms before you start to move things over. So you'll notice on this example of x minus 1 equals 5x plus 8 minus 2x. So I have two x terms on that right hand side. So I'm going to go ahead and collect those like terms first before I go any further. So I'm going to simplify this to x minus 1, 5x minus 2x is 3x, and then plus 8. So that way I um, don't have as many terms to move over because I've just simplified what I have on the right hand side. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to go ahead and move my x's to the right hand side because my 1 is smaller than my 3. So I'm going to go ahead and right now this is a positive x or a positive 1. So I'm going to subtract x from both sides. So I have x take away x minus 1 is equal to 3x minus x plus 8. x minus x is 0, so I'm left with negative 1 is equal to 3x take away x is 2x plus 8. Now I'm going to eliminate the constant on the same side as my variable. The opposite of adding 8 is subtracting 8 from both sides. Negative 1 subtract 8 is equal to 2x plus 8 subtract 8. Negative 1 subtract 8 is negative 9. That's equal to 2x. 8 take away 8 is 0. So that's what I'm left with so far. Last step is to get rid of the coefficient in front of your variable. The opposite of multiplying is dividing. So I'm going to divide both sides by 2. So negative 9 divided by 2 is equal to 2x divided by 2. Negative 9 divided by 2 is negative 4.5. So don't be afraid of those negative numbers. 2 divided by 2 is 1, so I'm left with 1x or just x. So x is equal to negative 4.5. If you have any questions about today's lesson, please reach out to me, send me an email or sign up for a virtual help session and I will see you in the next lesson.